Welcome to this episode where we are going to look at how to create blogger posts and pages. Currently our website is looking like this and on, on our social plugin we have Facebook but the other two that we added are not showing. So I realized that in the previous video there is a mistake I made and now we are going to first correct it before moving forward. So go to your layout and click on the social plugin pencil icon to edit it. Down here on the Twitter, click on the pencil icon. Then the site name should be Twitter and we put it in small letters. And then the site URL, that's why we should put the link then you let's save this then youtube also the link i will put it in the wrong place so move it and move it down and then the site name should be youtube make sure you type it in small letters click save then we are going to also add instagram name instagram then the url Just put the link to your account and click save. Then click save here to save the gadget. Now let's refresh our website and see. Okay, now that is fixed. So let's move on to creating posts. Go to posts here. And then we are going to remove this post that we created for demonstration purposes. Let's click here and then trash, trash it. Now click on new post. And here we shall put our post title. So I already made up one. Let me see. Okay, that's the title I want. And then here we will put our post content. Already made content for this. So you see it is before that i'm going to test it as print text like that now we move on to formatting our post as you can see this font doesn't look good so the first thing we are going to do is to highlight everything here and then go to font type this a you can click on it and then choose any font of your choice for example vanada and if i if i told you are not satisfied with the fonts that are available here you can just click on add more fonts and then you have access to a very very wide range of fonts i think every other font you know is here so you can scroll through and find any font of your choice so for this tutorial, I'm going to use Poppins. That's the font I'm going to add. And just like that, I select Poppins. So that is how you change the font. Now we go to how can you bold and format the headings. For example here, the step one and this one. So. I highlight it and then you can click B to make it bold or you can just use this to make it a major heading, a heading, a subheading, a minor heading, to whichever you want. So for example, I can make it a subheading like that. And now it is bold. Then the other thing I want to talk about is adding images. Now at the top of this blog post, you need to add a, an image showcasing what we are talking about so I'm going to go here then click on insert image then you can use if you have images on your google photos or by a url, a URL or if you have another blog that you want to get an image from now i'm going to upload from my computer then click on choose files and choose a file 
let it upload and then click on select and that's it now you can increase the size by dragging change the width and height like this yeah and that is it so if you click on this image you have this alignment you can align it left or you can align it right or you can just align it center and you can also look at the caption or if you click on this gear icon you can set the alt text for example you can use youtube thumbnail as my alt text title text you can choose whichever you want and you can also set the images from here then click on update now we have our our blog post uh, what if i want to add a video showing how to make the youtube thumbnails so for that i have a video i made about the youtube thumbnails on my youtube channel for example it is here on our channel called elgin tech so this is the video and i want to link to it from this blog post so what do i do down here i can say i can go to here then you can upload a video from your computer or you can just select youtube so when you select it by default you will see videos that are from your channel so this account people some is connected to another youtube channel that's why you are seeing these videos so if i go to search then i can type in here and just type youtube thumbnail and add my channel name so that i can easily find it yeah here is the video this then select it and there it is you can increase the width and height depending on how you want it to be and just like that when you publish your post people will be able to watch the youtube video from here another way it is to use the youtube embed link and embed the video so let me just remove this and then what i'm going to do is click on this pencil icon and go to html view so like that on the bottom here i can add an embed code from youtube so click on the video to play it and when the video starts playing you can right click on it and then copy embed code in this video i'm going to show you how like you can that. create a thumbnail for your youtube and then you can paste the embed code in the, the place where you want it to appear in the H, H, in the html of the, the of the site so for example in the compose view i want my video to appear around here so i just need to put, place it just above this paragraph so i go back to the html view so i click anywhere in here and then i press ctrl f and i start typing creating compelling that and then here it is so i move here before this paragraph then i can make a space then right there i paste my embed code then when i go back to the compose view the video should be here and you see it is very very big so what i'm going to do is to just size it down like that then that will be the video you can size it up to fit this space and then we do it here yeah so those are the ways that you can add a video to your blog post now let's look at other settings here here is the published time you can use automatic so when you use automatic when you click publish blogger will set exactly that time uh that you have published your blog post at and if you set the date and time you can even schedule it to be posted like tomorrow for example if i click here and click publish this post won't be available on my blog right now 
then it will be saved and to be automatically posted tomorrow so today is march 18th and march 19th to be posted i will leave this to automatic then the permalink you can let broker generate an automatic link for your blog post or you can just customize it to whichever you want i'll leave it automatic then you can set the location from where you are posting if you really need that or you can go to options and allow or disallow comments on the post then the most important part here is the labels so the labels is where you customize your posts and that is how you'll be able to create even menus con containing all your posts by using labels so this post is about how to make a youtube thumbnail using pixel lab on android and i can categorize it as a tutorial so i can just come here and create a label tutorials so once i create this label and publish this label will be added to the labels that can be available on my site and the next time i want to to publish a video i can just use this label sorry the next time i want to publish a blog post i can just use the label and post all posts that uh, are published using that label can be categorized so after adding more posts i'll show you how that works so for now i'm going to just type tutorials and it is important to just use to not use spaces in your labels what do i mean so for example if i want to say tutorials on android it's not good to just say tutorials then put a space on android no that won't be good so if i want to say tutorials on android it is best to say tutorials then don't use space maybe you can use this type of this type of case where you just start new words with capital letters and that will be fine like that so i'm going to publish this then confirm and our post is published and you can see the label here so if i go to our website and i refresh again you can see now we have one post Yeah, so that is how you create posts. Then now let's look at how to create pages. Pages are, are like also much like posts, but this they don't just appear on the site. So we use pages to create maybe like an about us page or any other kind of page you want to make for your blog that does not appear on the list of blog posts. So if I click on pages, I can create a new page so okay, i'll just call it example page and the ins and outs of the page are also the same as blog post only that we, there are some features that are not available and when, when you are once you are done creating the page you can just click on publish we look at pages more when we are creating the legal pages before we start monetizing our blog so now i'm going to go ahead and maybe i will copy posts from the urgent tech site then i will add them here and then we we'll see how to work with posts right now i'm at the urgent tech blog and here are the posts that i'm going to copy and transfer to the other side so in the post page you can see the labels that are available on this post and this and this like that and then here you can see the number of views per blog post so I'm going to go to settings just to show you how you can quickly copy posts from one blog to another. Then go to just scroll down, then go to backup content. When you click backup content, this will download all the posts on your blog on your blog into an XML file. Then when I want to add them here, just go to posts. I want to add all those posts to this blog. And they will come with their labels and so on so i go to settings on this blog where i want to add them then scroll down and then click on restore content is it import content 
Then I will turn off this automatically publish for all imported posts and pages because I don't want all of them to just come. So click on that, turn it off, and then click on import. Then choose the file that just got downloaded from the other blog. So take a few few seconds for the file to upload. Now it's done uploading, so I'm going to click on post and see if they are been added. Yeah, so the posts have been added, but they are in draft. They are not yet available on the blog. So to make them available, what I will do, I will just select, go to manage. I'm going to select 50, the first 35 maybe. And then I will just click on here, publish. And this post will be now available on the blog. So if I go to posts and see, we have 35 posts and all of them are published so I go to blog tutorial and then uh, I refresh the website and you can see now posts are available so that's how your website will be looking after you have created many posts on it and as you can see down here there's this that is not looking so good and it is in uh it is just under this such this blog gadget so we are going to remove it go back to posts then to your block dashboard then go to layout then what we are going to do now to look for that one i think this is the featured post featured post on this template doesn't look good so we are going to turn it off click save go back refresh yeah as we can see that is okay and then this search the search here is not looking good maybe we can paste it somewhere up here and let's go back to our layout then i'm going to remove the search this block from here tap here and then remove it what we're going to do is to come here side right bar a then we're going to click add a gadget just above our social plugin our social plugin is here so we are going to add a search this block here just the template already has a search icon here but just in case the user does not see it we want to add another search box so click on add gadget then choose blog search then leave it as such this blog then click save refresh you can see now we have a search now our website is looking pretty interesting but you see here uh, like for example recent in sports popular posts here there are no posts so that is what we are going to look at ne in our next episode about creating menus and creating these kind of kinds of sections where the template will automatically get some posts to fill in these spaces can now look at on popular posts and there is no popular post here because there are no posts that have been viewed mostly so popular posts are those posts that get the most amount of views for example if i click on this one to view it now that we have registered one view for this post now if i refresh maybe we should see it as a popular post okay but uh maybe we shall configure that one later and then we have the labels here as i told you so if you go now here and try to create a blog post right here at the labels if i type like t we have many labels that we can pick from and those are the labels that we can use to customize our blog posts so customization of the blog post and categorization we are going to look at all of that in our next episode. For the next part and those other parts that will follow uh, in this blog tutorial, the link will be in the description or you can just check out the full playlist. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.